Did you just get that on <laughs> It's um, singles, like one person. Right. And how long does a treatment last and how much does a treatment cost? Wow, it's amazing. It's got a, got a bath, it's got a walk-in shower. Nice artwork. Good size bed. Me and you get a room. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, hi guys. So I'm at the Mestil um, Apartments and Hotel, and I'm with my friend Sarah, and she's going to show me around the uh, the place and answer a few questions. But I promise not to ask too many hard questions. So, all right, let's get into it. Hello. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we just came from the restaurant and we'll show that in a little bit. But right now we're just going down the ramp to the swimming pool, it looks like. Are you nervous? So, yes, I am not good with cameras. Why? <laughs> I don't think I'll get married on my wedding day. <laughs> I don't think. Why? Because I'm not good with cameras. I don't know. I'm not good with cameras. 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 i am not Right, just answer questions about the, the place. So, you have a swimming pool. When did this place open? It opened up in 2019. 20... Officially, we started running. Wow, 2019. And what was here before? It was just an open uh, ground initially. Back back then, I think it was like a railway area. Oh, ah, I see. We had a primary school and uh -huh. it was open. Uh, it was a police? For, it's like a barracks. Okay, right? okay. So, and then after the police barracks remained the other side, and then this area was gazetted uh -huh. for government. And right. then after some time, it was uh, secured and given out for like development and all that. Okay. Which we did. Uh, and then the so owner, when did the building start? The building started like in 2017. Oh. And then concluded around 2018. Then the grand opening. 2019, they were able to start up quite very well. Even okay. 2019. And then 2019. obviously the pandemic came. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, like 2018, by the end of 2018, they, we, they, we started working. Then in 2019, we were okay. Then the pandemic came. In Uganda, we we, we closed in. Um, oh, but the hotels March. were still open. No, A March we were all closed. All closed yes. down. Okay. I March see. 2020. All so right. All so this is our pool side. Okay. I call this our health club. Yeah. Because we have the pool. Up there we have the gym which we shall see later oh, on. Oh the gym, okay. We have a spa area where you can have a massage with amazing masseuse. Oh right. Not making an advert, but again. <laughs> I might get myself <laughs> one of those after this. Yes. And then please oh, Alright. No, you did great. Mm -hmm. So is it usually busy <laughs> is it usually busy around here? Like uh, uh, so during the during the weekends and things? During the weekends families tend to go out. So it's not very busy because our pool it was, uh, is set up in a uh, way that uh, it accommodates not so many. Yes. And then the children, very young children, use the other side uh, yes. over there. Uh -huh. And then. And so is that is that play? Uh, play area every Sunday. Uh -huh. It's available. Oh, cool. Put up for fun because we look at this as a family day on a yes, Sunday. Yes, on Sundays. So families come here to relax. Children play. And in Uganda, of course, they you go to school Monday to almost Saturday. Oh yeah. So on Sunday is the day when you can have family time. Kids don't go to school on. Uh, kids go to school on Saturday. Some schools. Wow. Half day. <laughs> so yeah, and even some parents work on Saturday. So on Sunday, you get a time to. Ah, to rest. hang out with the kids. Yes. Yeah. All right. Love it. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs to the gym. Yeah. This is not my department. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, so there's a little bar here beside the swimming pool. Hello. And it's right beside Arena Mall, which has just opened up. And it's there's a view of the Kampala flyover. Mm, nice. Okay, so this is the bar? Yes, this is the bar area because when you're at the full site, sometimes you want to take a drink. Yes. Uh, make a, get a quick cocktail. A quick cocktail by the pool. Well, the kids are running around on a family day. <laughs> yes, the parents. Why not? Why not? Why not? Enjoy See, yourself. Not live longer. <laughs> Just not too much, everything in moderation. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the gym. Yes, the health club. The health club upstairs. So once you've taken a 
gym session, you can come downstairs and take a dip in the swimming pool. It's good for the quads. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been out walking all day actually, so. Oh, The upper health area where there's too much lifting, where yeah. there's uh... lots of grunting. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is it. Welcome. Wow, it's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and it's air conditioned. It is. And um, let's say we also have uh, trainers that help you. Uh, some persons like want to have somebody um, look after them. Yes, someone to. And then over the other side, we can do. Uh, Flow exercises. Oh, right. On the other side. Oh, yes. You can do some yoga. Stretching. And some stretching, and other people do dance classes from out there. Ah, so and then you get a view of the flyover and the city. Oh, right. And then also, we conduct spin classes from here. Oh, okay. Because of the, you know, how spin classes. The screaming, the shouting, the oh! <laughs> yeah, so we have this view. Yeah, from here. Oh, fountain down there. Oh, yeah. Arena Mall. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, really? I went in there. I actually did a video in there. Okay. I have you can check that out on my channel. There's a pop up up here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go down to the spa area. <laughs> yes. And this is the ladies' area. Oh, no men, no men allowed there. You're the only one. <laughs> I'm the only man in it. Wait, I thought I could get a massage if I wanted. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, right, nice little seating area downstairs. Seating area. Okay. And for our treatment, we are using healing earth. Healing earth. Healing earth. Right. Yeah. Is that a very good one? It's a very good product. Okay. And um, to be honest. We, you see, the products that you use for your treatment always matter. Yeah. So this is Sage. Okay, this is the Sage room. Just need to make sure there are no treatments going on in there. It's okay. Yeah. So over here, it's um, singles, like one person treatment. Yes. Uh, but however, if you want a couple's treatment, we have other rooms, though, however, currently they are busy. Oh. Yes. So some I... people want to have their treatment like um, with the open area, yeah. nature, and all that. So we leave it open. But if you want, we always close if you want. Oh, cool. Whatever for somebody's house. All right. Okay. I say healing up. Here we go. Yeah. You see? She's healing earth oil. This is the stuff. Over here. Mm. Nice. And how long does the treatment last and how much does the treatment cost? Uh, so our treatment, the beginning is $30. Okay. $30 and it is like, uh, what, 60 minutes or 90 minutes? 60 minutes or 90 yes. minutes. It matters. So it matters because sometimes some people want to have um, some steam sauna fast before they come for treatment ah. or they want to have a treatment fast before they go for the steam. Oh, okay. And then and then after that, they would go upstairs to the swimming pool or whatever? Yes. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for showing me here. Welcome. Thank you. If you don't want to wait from the other side, yes. you can also just wait from here. Uh, oh, after your treatment, you want to have some tea to come down or have a sip of water. Oh, cool. Because you have sit here. A little here. sitting area. Oh, yeah. And there's a little sitting area here as well. Oh, you can get back to the swimming pool from here. Well, the oh, this is the the fountain from upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm not sure, but it's been pretty good. Good for me. I have to go to the front desk, you can do those. Okay, no worries. Wow, so that was the gym and the swimming pool and the spa area. The health club. The health club as a whole. Where to next? Me and you get a room. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow. That's mess deal, was that funny? Mess deal. So it started in 2019. Like we, like Started I could say, 2018 slowly, okay. 
but mostly started booming a lot in 2019 right and to be honest it was going like shh. so and then covid yeah came in. And the pandemic, of course, affected almost everyone. So. But are there many people uh, staying in these apartments? Are they? Oh, yes. Yeah. Mostly, these apartments are good for professionals people who are coming in for business trips. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because why? Uh, you have you we're being enclosed in a small four room, normal usual hotel room. Kind of yeah. psychologically. Yeah, yeah, people. I've had that before. So the spacing is also mattering a lot. Yes. And uh, if you're having people coming in for a month or two, yeah, it's okay to get them like a one bedroom apartment where they can easily feel like. But they have services also. Yes. So do you also provide services to the people staying in the apartment? Oh yes. Like you would for the hotel? Oh yes. So whoever stays at the apartment, the apartment rate includes breakfast. So they come to the restaurant Amber, uh -huh. Amber restaurant to have breakfast. Oh, they get breakfast with staying in the apartment yes. as well? Uh -huh. They have access to the health club. Okay. So in case maybe they want to chill on a weekend, they want to sleep, Yeah. to swim. To swim around. Yes. Or have a massage. Nice. It's a one-stop place cool. for good memories. Okay, right, we're going to head to the desk and see if I can see a room. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, another set of stairs. It's a long walk to freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get to the top, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is actually the entrance to and, Mestil. And people say that um, usually while at the top you get dizzy and yet you see the whole world under you. Can you imagine this place is so pretty, but walking from the pool far up to here, you're very tired. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Me, I'm tired, yeah. I had to climb I'm 200. Counting. Yeah. I'm counting, yeah. I had to try and climb 272 steps at the Gaddafi Mosque the other day. I did, I did that sometime. Did you do that, yeah? yeah. All right. Check out that video as well. Okay. Ask for permission. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to ask for permission. So this is the, uh, this is the reception area, or when you first arrive, there's a little coffee shop over there. And then there's a balcony. Which is where we just came out of. Yeah, so you can see there's a fountain over there as well. And then just down here is the restaurant. I'll show that in a little bit. But first we're gonna try and see one of the rooms. Okay, so this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen area. This is a one bed place that you can get at Mestil. And there's a working desk space. And then you can look out of this balcony. It's quite a good space, good size place. It's got a TV, a bed. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is $200. There's a little toilet here, ensuite, and then you can get the bedroom here. And then they have a walk-in wardrobe area. Some good, got some good space in here. And wow, this toilet is actually very nice. It's got a got a bath. It's got a walk-in shower. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Oh, there's a little cupboard in here as well for storage. Yeah, so I think this is pretty good for people that are just coming to, to stay in town for a couple of months. Doesn't feel like a hotel room. Feels like, you know, home. You can cook dinners here for, for friends. You can have your family stay here. If you're with your partner, you've got a bedroom, but you've also got some space. And it's not just like one room, like a hotel room. So yeah, definitely something that people should look into if they're here for a little bit longer than a few nights. Oh, you got the pictures? Yeah, yeah, I got the videos of that one. What's your name? Chris is my name. Chris, all right, this is Chris. Thank you so much. Welcome. Your okay, name is? Philip. Philip. Thank you. Wow, this one's big. 
So this is the two bed. That's two bed. So you said uh, how much was the one bed across the? Uh, one bed is two hundred dollars per per night. Per night, two hundred dollars. Comes the breakfast for two. Okay. You have access to gym, swimming, swim bath, and so on. Wow. Okay, two hundred per night. And do you do uh, uh, you know cheaper rates if people book it for a month? Uh, that's not for. For discussion. Discussion. But I we see. do then for Zoom. We also have long staying people there. Okay, okay. Yeah, but this isn't part of the hotel, right? Yeah. So you treat the, the do you treat this area like a hotel as well as an apartment and it just depends which bookings you get? Sure. I see, I see. All right. And then this one is the sitting area. It's still got the the um the workspace over here. And then you've got a two bedroom. That's your master bedroom. Oh, wow. Does it have the same bathroom area as well? Yeah. And the walk-in wardrobe. Okay, yeah. So the bathroom is very similar to the to the other bathroom, apart from, I guess, the shower is a bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. You've still got the bath. You've got the toilet. Cool. The other room is just straight in. All right. Oh, nice. Got a little corridor. Storage slash gas, I guess. And then this is a twin room. Can you also get this as a double bedroom? Yeah. Can you also get this one as a double bed room? Yeah, sure, we can just. You just put together. them together, right? We will let it into one big bed like the other one. I see, I see. And how much is this one? This is at $320. $320 a night. All right. And then again, there's an ensuite walk in. Shower, toilet, that's cool. Lots of uh, space. Nice, and there's another little desk here as well for working. So 320 you said, and then they get breakfast with this one. Is that yeah. breakfast for two or how many people? This one for four people. Four people. Yeah, maximum four people. And then next door is for and two. For two people. Yeah. Then even the, we also have the executive ones, like the standard one. Uh huh. That's also maximum two. Ah. For it, it is one sixty dollars. Is that like just a room? Yeah, just a cell phone, team studio. Can we take a look at that one? Yeah, we're gonna work. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. Okay. We also have a three bedroom. Only that for the moment, I don't have any bathroom one. Okay. A three bedroom. It's quite more spacious than this. Oh yeah, bet. Yeah, so how many do you have of those? For the three bedroom, we have six. Six of those. Yeah. Wow. So how's occupancy? How's business? Uh, business is uh, it depends on the season. Yes, yeah, of course. At the moment we average, but we expect like within this very month, might be full by twentieth month. It will be full house. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And why is that? Why does it get busier at that time? Uh, we don't have to uh, have like the digital conferences. Okay, big conferences going on. Oh yeah, because you've got the conference space here, so it must get busier when you've got the conference on. I see. Get busy. In all in total, we have 98 rooms. 98 rooms. Yeah. How many blocks? Uh, we have uh, four blocks. Okay. Yeah. This first block has only executive rooms. Okay. And that uh, it has the 23 executive rooms. So that's more like the hotel. Yeah, the hotel rooms. Okay. Yeah, 23 example. Okay. Then uh, the apartment, we have suites. A one bedroom suite is we have a uh, 20, we have 20, 27. Okay. Then the two bedrooms we have a uh, 42. Wow, okay. Yeah, then uh, the three, they are only six. Okay, okay. And are people staying long term in the three bedroom ones? Yeah, oh, we have some staying there in long term. <laughs> For, <laughs> they love it so much. They love it. You have like uh, two pin houses. We have long staying people like uh, over now, two. Three years now. Wow, three years in there. Yeah. Are they here all the time or are they international? <laughs> that one is international one is international Okay. That one is for USA uh, USA based. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna go upstairs and see one of the executive rooms which are essentially is it just like a room and a just self contained Self contained. They don't have a kitchen. It has a small kitchen. Oh right, cool, 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 cool. So it's not just a hotel. No, I've never been. I've been in uh, Kampala now for two months, but I haven't actually been to Mestil, so... Oh, to Mestil. Thank you so much. Okay. 
room 1102. This is a good size. Yeah. Yep. Nice artwork. A good workspace. Good size bed. Yeah. I actually really like the artwork in these rooms. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. This one is cool as well. You know where that is? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Some African. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the bathroom. Oh, yeah. This one doesn't have the bathtub. Yes. Do any of the room, the executive rooms, have bathtubs? No. 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 The executive of the standing Nothing room. in this block. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So you have your simple kitchen in here. Yes. Microwave. There's Little coffee space. Coffee in cool. And how much are these ones? Uh, this one is uh, $160. $160 a yeah. night. Yeah. And do people book these for long term? Sure. Yeah? yeah. We also give you discounted rates for long stay. Hmm. But you, that's discussed? Yes, discussed. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Because uh, the 160 rate, all the rest have been giving you the discounted rates for the ending the, this much. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So they're coming up in price a little bit. So you never know, maybe. After March, the management might come up with other rates. Okay. But initially, this was for two hundred dollars. This room was two hundred. Yeah, but it's running a discounted rate of one sixty. Okay, but they would still maybe discount if you were to book it for a month. Sure. I see. I'll give you a breakdown. Okay. Of uh, those long stay rates and for the front. Okay, so they actually have official long stay rates yeah. as well. Okay. But those are up for ne negotiation <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a beautiful space. Yeah. And yeah, how long have you been the next floor, all the rooms are the same. Okay, cool. And how long have you worked here? Um, Since making a year. Making a year? Yeah. That's great. No, I've not been to the conference rooms yet. Only that uh, on this side, we only have one. Okay. We have boardrooms and one meeting. Ah, boardrooms for meetings. Okay, so people can book out these areas as well? Yeah, they can book them. Okay. Is there... This is good. This is great, actually. Really good quality stuff. Uh, how much does it cost to rent these spaces yeah. for the day? Uh, it depends on the size of the hall you're taking. Yeah. But uh, 500 for the smallest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then the rest are one in, two. Cool. And do you get a lot of business for the hotel from the conferences? Yeah, we get it. Most of the conferences are not there. Yeah. Okay. There's a number of Wow. Yeah, this is a good, great space. Projector screen. You can have meetings. Little flip chart type things. Okay, cool. So, little breakout conference room. People they get. So, do you guys supply all of this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Supply what? Do, do you supply all the tables and chairs for the yeah, conferences? These are, ours, yeah. are these like an extra charge, uh, depending on what you need? These uh, come with the conference room charge. Okay. Yeah. And can people set like this? We can charge you like two million. Yeah. Then you come along with the tables, chairs. Okay. Yeah. But can people set it up differently? Because some people might want rows of chairs. And they set up according to what you want. You want. Okay, and it's well, a similar price. A, a conference in here tomorrow. Yeah. So they wish to have this set up. Yeah. This is so. what they wanted. Okay, okay, okay. But we set according to what you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. And do you don't do you charge for the room or do you charge for number of people coming? Oh, we charge for the room. Yeah. And maybe what the people will be having in case they want a food or what. I see, I see. Okay, so well. so if there's like a hundred people that need to be fed, then yeah, you charge extra money for the food. Money for that food. I see, I see. Yeah. But like you wouldn't charge more for more seats, for example. Ah, I see, I see. So yes, yeah. that you can set it up however you want. Oh. Cool artwork in here as well. Do you know where the artwork's from? Yeah, we have many artworks here in here in Kampala. Yeah. yeah, so you get them from local artists? Yeah, we get them from the local ones. Cool, all right. Nice little conference room. And there's uh, one more thing about this room before we leave it. There's a partition there. So you can split it into two rooms if you need to book it out. And does it cost more to, you just book this one whole room or you can book it yeah. separate ones? separate doors. Ah. We can just break it, we can make it two rooms. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. I see. All right, cool. So the rest are across the other side. Okay. They're also being down there. 
like the other conference rooms. I think that gives people a good taste of uh, of what's on offer. Even just these things. And these little baskets as well. So is everything locally sourced like these ones? These are all locally sourced. Can people buy the art if they like it? From India? Yeah. No, <laughs> no. We're not selling them, but you can direct use the nearby outlets. Ah, uh, very Cool. Um, this is the restaurant area in the Mestil Hotel. It's actually dark right now, but they have nice uh, outdoor areas which are um, good to sit in when it is light. There's a seating area just there, but this is the indoor seating area. So I've been sitting having coffee, but it looks the menu looks good. And uh, yeah, like I said, there's an outdoor seating area just here. Also, there's a, another seating area over on this side. <laughs> Obviously, it's dark right now, but that leads out into the courtyard, which is all open air. So it's a nice place to come if it's a, night, if it's a good day. If it's not too hot, then you can come and sit outside. And, uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'm doing the restaurant. Okay, cool. I'll see you. All right, so that's, uh, that's the Mestil restaurant. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it so much. All right, guys, so that's the um, Mestil apartments and hotel. Uh, Really enjoyed making this video and getting to see the place. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my videos. And thanks for watching. If you want to watch any more of my videos, I've done a video here of the Gaddafi Mosque. And I've also done another video here of uh, going around Owino Market. So there's some incredible uh, things to see in Kampala. So check those videos out after this one. All right, thanks.